Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add the drop down menu in Webflow in 2024. So Webflow creators, today we're delving into the process of editing those menus. Of course, the menus or Webflow is a key component for organizing and navigating through your website's content. Whether you're adjusting the menu structure, adding new items, or silent drop downs, stick around so I will guide you through how to edit it. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go here to the top left corner URL option and type webflow.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into the home screen and main screen. So a page like this. For me, I'm already logged in. That's why I'm taken to my dashboard right away. For you, as we said, you'll be taken in here to the home screen or main screen once it's your first time. Here, if you have an account, go and click on login to log in into your account. Or if you don't have an account, click on get started. It's free to create a new account. You can both log in or create an account using Google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in into your account. If you don't know anything about Webflow also, you can simply scroll down to read more information about this website and just familiarize yourself or just have a general idea about it before even creating your account. It will be very, very useful. Of course, this Webflow is relying a lot on coding, on designing, so make sure you're good at those stuffs or you can take some courses about it. It will not take a lot of time from you to master those things out, especially if you are passionate about it. So once you're logged in into your account, or before, if you're interested about pricing, here's it. You can post a video and read it all by your own. This is uh, yearly and manually, or sorry, monthly. Uh, so just the prices, other stuff, just post the video and read it all. For e-commerce also, post a video and see whatever you want. And yeah, so for me, as you can see, once I'm logged in into my account, I'll find myself on a dashboard like this. So first, you will have the option or make sure to go and click on add a new site if you don't have any sites yet. Click on add a new site, choose the templates from the free ones or simply go and buy one if you want to. And of course, make sure to choose like a template that has a navigator or navigation menu or a drop down menu first of all, because this will make it easier for you and even for you and for me. So you don't have to start the navigation menu from scratch. Of course, it will be just a bit annoying, not that hard, but it will be a bit annoying to start it from uh, scratch. So make sure to choose the templates that already has a navigation menu or a drop down menu to use it. So for me, I'll just go back. For me, I already have one. I'll just go and open the designer of it to show you how to edit it. It's going to be very, very simple. So let me just go and wait for my website until it's opened. And as you can see, once we are here, we will find already a navigation menu or a drop down menu here. As you can see, okay, we will say where where's the drop down menu. I'll just click on preview to show you. So when you click in here, as you can see, I have multiple menus. This is for desktop. If I go here to tablet or phone, I have this drop down menu in here. So it's a drop down menu. So let me just go back, click in here. And yeah, so how can we start editing? As you can see, we have the sidebar in here. Just simply go and click on that sidebar. And as you can see, if we click on this edit component, we'll be able to edit the components of that. So we'll be able to ch change or the names of them, uh, give them new links, give them whatever you want. As you can see, this navigator will help you even through it. Once you select this bar, as an example in here, you'll be able, so we have the sidebar wrapper that has everything on it. Now we'll be able to delete stuff. As an example, I don't know, let's just go and remove the simplates pages. So. Where we're going to find it, just keep hovering stuff from the bottom. And as you can see, once it's hovered here also, so we have this drop down wrapper. I'll just go and click on that and click on delete on my keyboard. As you can see, it deleted. So you can add some drop down items or even uh, remove some as I did. So I remove that. I can even remove this one. How to add the new ones, of course, simply just and click on plus and add your new sidebar. Of course, as an example, uh, let me just go and close this and this. As an example here, we have like, let me just go even close this. 
So if we click on like some specific thing, we'll be even taken here to their specific like part. So let's say an example, I want to make, I don't know what should I edit about it, but let's just go to this demo pages. As you can see, if I open it up, so let me just show you in here. If I open it up, I have reports, products, and pricing on it, right? So if I go and click on here, I'll find this drop down, uh, toggle, flex, and those two options. I even find this sidebar drop uh, list wrapper. So if I click on it, I'll find this. If I click on it, I'll find those three links. I can remove as an example this link or change the place of it instead of being the third the pricing. As I guess the pricing was the third. No, the pricing, you'll find it's the second. Yeah. Because I changed the place of it. Now it's the third again. You can even remove it. So it's not going to be on the same menu on the demo pages. You may be going to find it, as an example, on somewhere else. You can simply go and click on a list panel and click on remove it. Uh, give it another, like, uh, uh, give it another, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll just put it under users. As an example, now if I go in here, go and click on that. Okay, it seems like I didn't do it. So I'll just go here and I'll just try to add this in here. I don't know why it's not added. Drop down links can only be placed in a drop down list. So, of course, you'll need to look for a drop down list. So, let me just go and look for this one. Has this list. This one. Yeah. Let's just go and drop it down here. So, example now, if we go here, we will find two. I don't know where I added. Yeah. I add this here. So find here all pages, products, and stuff. This is just like a part of what I can edit. Of course, for you, you'll have to go through that and familiarize yourself with Webflow and start doing whatever you want. And of course, for me, I'm not even good at designing editing those stuffs. I just show you how. And you can, of course, blitz your monster out and start doing the things that you like unless it satisfies your style. So yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Or there you have it. You successfully learned how to edit the drop-down menu in Webflow. By mastering, of course, the drop-down component or the drop-down menu, you can effectively organize and navigate your website, content, or visitors. You can do the same easily. And of course, this will enhance the user experience. So if you have any question or there is a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section, and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So thank you for watching. And if you have a question, as I said, just drop it down below. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. So happy designing and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.